In this HTML example, we're simply going to show you how to set up a basic web project. Now, this is not a web project that is going to use any types of frameworks. We're not importing things like TypeScript. We're not doing anything advanced like that. We're staying basic, but it's important to get these basics down. The reason why it's so important is your web browser and websites expect files to be in a certain location. Nowadays, the problem is we so often use things like a file search, whether it's in Google Drive or even on our local machine, that we're not looking for the files and we're not looking and expecting them to be in a project. So what I've done is I've created something called source code. This is because I do a lot of different programming projects and tutorials on my video channel like this. What I've done is I've created the source code. Now I have an HTML project folder. This is where I'm going to put all my HTML projects. I can come over here and I also have this folder opened up inside Visual Studio Code. The way I can do in Visual Studio Code is file, open folder. Here's my source code. You see some different examples I have. I'm going to go to HTML and this opens up that folder for me. This is very important for me. Now I can go and create new folders. To do this, here's my HTML, and I have an icon here for new folder, or I can right click and say new folder, whichever you find more beneficial and easier for you. I'm gonna put my project name, in this case, project one. And now if I want to, I can go file, open folder, HTML, project one. This is gonna let me see only my files associated with this project. This is going to make sure I don't accidentally open up files in another project I may have going. It's like I said, I've got lots of projects. I'm going to come over here and create another new folder. So this is one of the folders I always create because every website is going to have some sort of images attached to it. So I have a place to organize my information. Images in one folder. I'm going to create another folder, one for CSS. This is where I'm going to put my style sheets. Very important. We're not going to use these early on, but in later examples, we will. Then I'm going to create another new folder, and this is going to be for my scripts. This is my JavaScript files. And by separating these out, I keep everything very organized. So it's much, much easier to work with. If you got this down, being able to create your files and work with those files will be much easier. So go ahead, create these, and then we're going to get files that you can copy into it to work through these examples.